Parents with babies going through teething may be tempted to try the latest trends to help their child through that pain, but not everything on the market is safe. So joining me now is Dr. Elizabeth Mead from Swedish Medical Center. Thanks for being here this You're morning. Uh, we want to talk about these amber teething necklaces. We were talking uh, in the break yeah. here. I've never even heard of these yeah. before. So explain what they are. Okay, so this is something that, that we've been seeing more and more that mm -hmm. parents are interested in. Um, it was actually our, one of our nurses at Swedish who brought this up as a topic because she's like, I keep seeing these and I think we need to talk to parents about it. So um, so real amber does contain a substance. It's a certain kind of acid that's sort of a natural pain reliever. And so the theory behind these is that if the baby wears it, then a little bit of this will get absorbed through the skin and help with teething pain. I'll tell you that it doesn't really work and they can be really dangerous for babies. And so I think it's important for parents to know what the dangers can be. Yeah, let's talk about the dangers. Yeah. What's the issue with these? So there's a couple different things. I mean, you can see how small mm -hmm. these beads are. So, you know, normally we would never think to give a child something with pieces this small, an infant. Um, so babies can actually, um, if one of the beads comes off, these are individually tied, but one can still come off. And if the baby chokes on it, they can, they can die from that. Or even if they don't choke, they can actually aspirate it and it can go into their lungs. And that's a surgical process with anesthesia to remove it. But the other real danger is that baby can actually get strangled because it's around their neck. Mm -hmm. So what is your recommendation if you have parents who are using these? We yeah, just want to so toss them out? Absolutely. Our strong recommendation is that parents not use these at all. The real world recommendation, the, you know, I always think it's important to tell people what our recommendation is, but also sure. if you're going to use it, what can you do? So um, again, I would say just don't use it, but if you're going to, um, never ever leave your child unattended with one of these on. They can get caught around the neck. We've heard stories, there was a little boy who died actually last month um, oh at daycare from being strangled by his amber teething necklace during a nap. So this is a real world danger. Um, they can also kind of work their hand up in it and it can get twisted. There was a little girl in Australia who actually, mom found her in the crib. It was really tight around her neck and her wrist to the point where it probably would have caused death mm -hmm. if mom hadn't come in. Um, so I would say if you're going to use it, don't ever leave your child unattended. Um, don't put it around their neck. So you could put it around their, their ankle, underneath a sock, or around their wrist. But the reality is we know kids can still get to that stuff too. So that's not really safe either. Um, never while they're sleeping and never while you're not watching the baby eyes on. Okay, I think we should just throw these things out. I, I mean, mean, we really should <laughs> just get rid of them. There are other countries that have actually started working to ban these because they're just so unsafe. And really no baby should ever wear any jewelry. That's just kind of the bottom line. So give us some uh, hints yes. and what can parents do besides, you know, we're throwing these yeah, out. Yeah, so we'll but get rid yeah, of that exactly. and then what can we do? Exactly. exactly, yeah. So cold washcloths are great, those cotton baby washcloths. Um, if you soak it in water, it actually helps to kind of tie a knot in one end and then put it in the freezer for about 15 to 30 minutes. Mm. And then the baby can kind of chew on that. It's nice and cold. We don't want anything that's frozen solid because that can be too hard for babies to chew on. But 15 to 30 minutes in the freezer, it just gives them a nice kind of thing to gum and it kind of helps relieve that pain. Um, you can actually just wash your hands in cold water and then mom or dad can give them a finger or a knuckle to kind of chomp on. That actually helps. Um, and then Tylenol, if your baby is really uncomfortable, basic over-the-counter pain relievers like Tylenol can be helpful. I do want to just say that they have these homeopathic teething tablets that are out there being I've sold. Seen those. So there was an FDA warning a few weeks ago. These are actually very dangerous for babies. Um, they should not be used at all. They contain a pretty powerful sedative. And so if the amount isn't regulated, mm -hmm. they can be really dangerous. Babies have had seizures and other bad side effects from those.